The Jibotech Automated Sterile Storage Facility was developed by Jibotech in conjunction with the customer Gentofte Hospital. In this brief introduction, we shall be going through the functionality of the plant, highlighting the innovative Jibotech solutions along the way. The start button is usually only needed at initial startup or when the safety has been violated inside the internal storage room. Safety sensors monitor all floor space within the plant and pause operations in case of obstacles or people obstructing the normal operations of the storage robot. The sensors are optical, meaning there are no physical barriers anywhere, a great advantage when performing hygiene maintenance. The sterilized equipment exits the jetting autoclaves onto jetting air glide conveyors and are left to cool for approximately 30 minutes. In this installation we have three autoclaves and three cooling stations, but the system is fully scalable, meaning we can add as many autoclaves and cooling stations as needed. From the cooling stations, the autoclave racks are picked up by the Jibotech Skyglide. Notice that the Skyglide is ceiling mounted in order to maintain all floor space unobstructed. This serves to both improve storage space ergonomics and facilitate cleaning. From the cooling stations, the Skyglide transports the sterilized surgical equipment to the packing tables where it's scanned and packed into wire baskets. Once the autoclave racks are empty, the Skyglide transports them back to the sterilization packing area to be refilled by the staff. The operator packs individual wire baskets according to orders emanating from the hospital's surgical operation planning system. The surgeons schedule the operations, the system presents a proposal for an equipment list for editing and approval by the surgeon, and the list is sent to the packing tables where the equipment is scanned and packed by the operators. During this process, the screen displays both the numbers and names of the equipment being packed, as well as images showing how each individual item is supposed to look. This has all but eliminated packing mistakes. Most surgical operations deploy both generic baskets and specific baskets, with the generic baskets being packed in times of low workload. This serves to optimize plant efficiency overall. This particular plant can handle up to 100 operations per day, but as we've already mentioned, the system is fully scalable and can be expanded to service surgical wards of any size. The system monitors the sterilization dates of all equipment stored and ensures that no basket is ever allowed to surpass the defined time limits for sterile equipment. If a basket surpasses the defined limit, the system extracts it and delivers it for re-sterilization. From the packing tables, the finished baskets go into temporary storage inside the storage area. This latter consists of two individual storage areas which are organized according to a plan the plan serving to ensure that each basket is stored in a location lying as close to its eventual storage exit point as possible. As the scheduled surgical operation time draws near, the storage robot receives orders to prepare the so-called case carts. These are rolling racks designed to accommodate a number of wire baskets and are used to transport the sterilized surgical equipment from the storage area to the wards. The robot weighs each basket before placing them in the case carts, making sure that the heaviest ones are always placed near the middle of the carts and the lighter ones are nearer the bottom or the top of the cart. Notice that the robot picks up a packing list from the printer to follow each case cart on its way through the system. If, during an operation, a surgeon upstairs discovers that they need further equipment aside from the items already requisitioned, it is possible to request an immediate delivery of anything that is stored inside the storage facility. Immediate deliveries are prioritized above the normal routines and take around 45 seconds to deliver to any of the storage exits. They do not influence the normal running of the system beyond the few seconds that the robot is busy delivering the extra basket.